Hello and welcome to a new adventure. Today we're going to be looking at the Garforth to Castleford Railway. So this is an abandoned railway and we're hopefully going to find all that it has to offer between here in Garforth all the way down to Castleford. So I'm currently stood on Bar Lane Bridge. If you're from Garforth you'll know exactly where I am. Now this is the main line down here, the Garforth to York Railway. And just on my right over there, where those new houses are, I'll zoom in for you. That is where the line would have left this line here and branched off to the right and curved its way around the back. Now as the line makes its way around there, it now hits a brand new housing development which has destroyed anything that would have been left at the back of it over here. Because the reason that the line skirted around the back here rather than heading off earlier was because there was a large colliery just up here. Okay, so I'm now stood on Green Lane in Garforth and this is exactly where the line would have crossed underneath Green Lane. Again, a bridge. So right where this factory is here is where the line would have come towards me from the Garforth main line up there. And then now you've got new built houses behind me. That's where the line would have gone straight on towards the colliery which was just down there. So we will take a look at the colliery straight after this. But as you can see, we can't progress any further down there. So I'm now going to have to make my way round to the next point where we can pick it up, which is where it crossed Ninelands Lane further down on a bridge. So we stood on Ninelands Lane, just a bit further down near the cemetery. And I'm going to show you a before and after picture taken from right here, showing the colliery just behind me over there. So that would have been the Garforth Colliery Trench Pit just over there. So let's take a look at that picture now. We stood just off Ninelands Lane and I've made my way around the back. Right here is where it would have crossed Ninelands Lane. And you can also see a dip in the road. But this is where the bridge would have been. Obviously long gone now. But right behind me you can see the ivy in the trees. If you just look through there, this is where the track would have gone. Onto the bridge and then crossed over Ninelands Lane which is just down there. And then behind me we have a new build estate now. So the line would have come towards me here from where those trees are and it would have curved around the back. The colliery was just up there and then it joined the main line up there. So all this now completely unrecognizable as always. But just in that corner over there would have been a coaling stage. So I've just come in a bit closer to where the coaling stage was. So that the line would have come in on that level. You can see the height over there. And it would have been right here. And it would have loaded the coal down onto the trucks to head off into Leeds probably. So you can just see here where the road dips down to go underneath the bridge. So we were just stood up there and it would have come out and across here. But as you can see, no sign of any abutments here, all gone now. We're now gonna head down here, which is called the lines. I wonder why it's called that. That is gonna take us on two thirds of our route all the way down to Castleford. Hopefully it's not muddy and wet. So we reached our first stop heading down to Castleford and right here you can see the uh, bridge which is the A63 Selby Road right up there heading over the line. So nothing much has changed here apart from the tracks have disappeared. We keep looking in the edges as well for any railway relics or any bits and bats. We've, we've seen a lot of stone around like down here you can see lots of stone blocks in places. Now there are a lot of demolished bridges up there so they could have reused it on this. But all this is pretty much new housing on the left. And uh, we did spot a sleeper up there, but it was rotten to hell, so it wasn't worth filming. So we've just left the uh, bridge there. And then we're crossing over this section here where it's quite raised up. I wasn't gonna film here, but I've just spotted there's quite a deep cutting down that side. And the same on this side, if you look down. Now I think there is a stream through there, so I think this is probably just a culvert underneath. But it's quite raised up. It's almost like a, a mini viaduct or a, a quite a big raised embankment anyway. 
So this is uh, stop number two on the lines. Again, an intact bridge. But this one was no more than a footbridge across the line, or like an old farmer's track anyway. But I mean, that is in immaculate condition. But it would be, it's surrounded by trees and we are in the middle of fields, basically. So we've reached Brex Lane, just a bit further down the lines. And right here, according to the map, it looks like uh, the line went over on a bridge, but I don't think so. To me, the uh, levels are all off. So it could have been a crossing here, a little level crossing, but again, it's no more even today than a uh, farmer's access track. So nothing major here. So here we've got a public footpath that used to cross the line, a historic one anyway. And we can see just in the trees, as always, two old uh, concrete posts here, gate posts, which would have been probably a crossing gate here. A nice interesting find there. So we've just pulled over off the main railway line here. We're in a quite a rural section now, but right here would have been an old quarry up there on the hill. And there was also a small branch line that left this track here and went on a, a slope up the bank in here. Now that would have been for the quarry, maybe like an old calling stage. Now I believe it was on this level here, you can just see the track bed through there. So it would have had to have left just a bit further back there and made its way up. So I've just made it up onto the quarry site, just up the hill. And this is here. It's what I believe to have been an old drift mine. You can see the uh, formation here, where it would have gone down. Obviously they've filled it in these days. So again, we're on sort of a, another embankment here. And we're quite high up actually. I'd probably say 70, 80 feet up. And uh, there was an old underpass just back there a lane I think or a footpath that went underneath but there's nothing remaining of that and just down here is an old culvert that is one big culvert and it's definitely got the railway brick on it but I'm not breaking my neck going down there <laughs> so I always say that and then end up coming down anyway here's the culvert uh, you can see the old red railway brick on that that is one big uh, Cover that. I've never seen one of that big on a, a railway before. You can just see through there to the other side. Not a very long one, but enough to take it underneath the railway embankment. And then into quite a deep punch pool there. But this would be nice in summer. So we've just reached a, a point again on the tracks where there is a bridge remaining. Um, you can just see Kippax over there. Or Kippax as I would call it. But I know you locals call it Kippux. Anyway, down there you can see the remains of that abutment there <laughs> and that one. And the bridge is still intact as we uh, currently head over the bridge on the lovely cycleway now. Both sides intact, but again, nothing more than a farmer's track, as you can see. Field there, field there, just access through. Because this all the way back there is one big embankment all the way through the valley. This is Kieran, by the way, a good friend of mine, lives right near the start of this line. We've reached Berry Lane just outside Kippux. And again, we've got a bridge, so the lane shoots across that way. And then just beyond here would have been Kippux Station. This is the location of Kippax Station, or Kippax Station. Ignore the stupid hat, I am on the bike. But right here, you can see like a raised mound uh, running along roughly where the platform would have been. I got, well, I've got a funny feeling. I mean, if you look inside, there's a lot of stone and blocks inside there. I'm pretty sure that this is the mound left over from the platform, probably just piled up. And then the station building would have been right there, looking this way. And then the line obviously coming through the bridge. So I'm pretty convinced that I would have been stood on the platform right now, waiting for the train to come. 
any minute. There used to be a, a giant water tower here as well for obviously filling the engines up. Somewhere in this location here, I presume over there where the tree is, where it's flat, and then the main station building is right here where these cars are, and a little car park behind, and then the old access road which is still used today to come in to this car park. But as you can see, absolutely nothing apart from the bridge. Another bridge. This is Brigshaw Lane crossing over. And as you can see, it's been strengthened this bit. We would have gone through the whole centre bit here. But what they've done is they've bricked it in and put a little concrete archway for the path to go through. So we just uh, paused at this section here. <laughs> it looks like I'm stood on a station platform right here. You can just see we're about a foot and a half above the, uh, the uh, trough here. It looks like the track would have come in here and this would have been a platform but it's actually made out of wood, uh, actual sleepers so I'm going to guess that when they made this pathway here they just raised it up and used this as an edging to keep the water out that's why the drainage is down there so it's not, a, I know there wasn't a station here there's one not, further, not too far down but not here and just a bit further down we've got an abutment I know you love me saying that only one side mind, this one has gone but this, again, was no more than a footpath across. So we've just headed down here and we've reached now what is Bowers Junction. Uh, this is where another line or a branch line would have sloped off for the trains coming up from the Castleford side. And they would have headed up there towards two collieries further up here, which is now the St Aidan's Nature Reserve which I have covered before in videos. This was the junction, you can clearly see where the line here would have joined from the right to the main line there. And then just in front of us there would have been a station called Bowers Holt or Bowers Holt. And it was no more than a wooden box platform and a signal box where you could get on and off the trains when it ran passenger services, that is.